Reaction now from Republican Senator Saxby Chambliss, a member of the Intelligence and Armed Services Committee. Senator, thank you for joining us this morning. Is this a deal you can support? Sure. Well, George, you know, the publicly stated goal of this administration relative to Iran's nuclear program is to prevent it from happening. Nothing in the details that I have seen thus far of the final deal, nothing in what Secretary Kerry just said moves us in the direction of preventing Iran from developing a nuclear weapon. Sure, they're going to destroy uh, uranium enriched to 20 percent, uh, but uh, irrespective of what he just said, they're going to be able to continue to enrich uranium to 3.5 percent. They've got six tons now. They're going to allow them to go to seven tons, and then they'll come back down to six tons within the next six months. But they'll still have that capability. Nothing in this deal requires the destruction of any centrifuges. Uh, they're going to continue to be able to replace centrifuges that um, become inoperable. And uh, I just don't see this movement in the direction of preventing Iran from developing a nuclear weapon at all. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be easing sanctions. Right now, the sanctions are working. They're doing exactly what they're designed to do. The economy of Iran is heading south. Unemployment is um, skyrocketing. And what we're going to do is we're going to allow the easing of sanctions, particularly on areas where the Iranian people are going to feel some benefit, i.e., uh, allow um, uh, export import of automobile parts, uh, so, airline parts, that sort of thing, that will show that uh, the sanctions are, in fact, being eased. And instead of easing them, now is the time to tighten those sanctions well, and let's get a long-term deal. That's going to be my question right now, Senator. Are Iran you, from it, developing a weapon. You heard Secretary Kerry. He says he hopes the Senate does not move forward, Congress does not move forward on new sanctions. Sounds like he's going to be disappointed. You're going to push ahead. I think you're going to see a strong movement in the United States Senate to move ahead to tighten sanctions now. There'll have to be some time frame in there. They, they've done this deal, and this can be done without the approval of Congress. So for the next six months, it looks like this deal is going to be in place. And it may be that we have to, to pass a resolution that puts sanctions on effective um, uh, three months, four months, six months, whatever it might be. But now is just not the time to ease sanctions when they are working. So your we've bottom, got all the leverage in the negotiation, and we've let them out of the trap. So your bottom line is, if a permanent deal does not roll back the Iranian nuclear program, you're going to push ahead for more and tighter sanctions on the Iranian economy. Exactly. George, we have uh, we've trusted the Iranians before, just like the North Koreans on nuclear issues, and what have we gotten for it? They continue to hide their development of these weapons. And, you know, in spite of um, their agreement here to reduce the enrichment, um, the 20 percent stockpile that they have enriched, they can go to North Korea and buy that from them in a heartbeat. So when you look at what we've really gotten out of this, it's moving us away from the direction of prevention of them developing a weapon. And that, frankly, is, is what the American people and what the world wants. And that's why you're seeing Israel and Saudi Arabia, and there will be other Middle East countries, I suspect, who come out in uh, opposition to this uh, short-term agreement. Senator Chambliss, thanks very much for your time this morning.